welcome everyone so today we are going to understand how to solve this kind of a math puzzle where we are supposed to find the value of x and y and the details what they have given us is that there are three numbers okay the first number is 7 7 x the next number is 6 y x and the third number is y y x when all of three three are added you get the answer as 1 x x 7 okay and how out of all these details given, how are we supposed to find the value of x and the value of y in order to find the total sum of theirs. Okay, now in this kind of a scenario, please understand that one thing is, which is very very clear to everyone is that they are these are proper numbers, x and y are numbers, okay, they do not have a decimal point. This is the first thing which you need to remember because neither the answer is coming out of, into a decimal point neither all these additions are given in such a way that they are do not have a decimal point ahead of them okay so this is very very important for you all to remember while solving these kind of sums now let's understand how do we begin with this now let's look at the last column we have what they have given us what x plus x plus x is leading you to some value which is ending in 7 okay see here they have given us that the numbers are proper numbers okay they do not have a decimal point but they can have a carry right so from this i can have this as nothing but our 3x is equal to 7 now we need to put a number in this case in such a way that the number is completely divisible by 3 so that the value of x doesn't have a decimal point so now in order to do this either the here the value is 0 so 0, 7. Now 0, 7 is not divisible by 3. So then we can have what? 1. 17. Again, 17 is not completely divisible by 3. So now next we'll put 27. Now the moment you do that and we divide both sides by 3, we get the value of x as nothing but what? 9. So this is very, very clear to every one. Now in this case means we know that all of this addition will lead to the number as what? 27. So we've written 10, 7 over here, okay. So next 2 should get carried over here. Now let's look at the next column. We have what 2 plus 7 plus y plus y. Now that is equal to what x. Here we have a value of x. Now x is nothing but what 9. Now similarly here also we don't know whether there is a carry or there is just 9. So now 2 plus 7 is what 9 plus 2y equals to 9. Now let's do one thing we will take this as nothing but 9 only so the moment you do that when you subtract both sides by 9 you get 2y equals to 9 so i'll say y comes out to be 0 now if that is the scenario okay so here if you look closely 7 plus 6 plus 0 right instead of y we'll put 0 should get you the value as nothing but what 1 and x so that is nothing but what 19 but that is not possible because 7 plus x 7 plus 6 gets you what 13 plus 0 also remains the answer as 13 so that is not equal to 19 so i can say that this cannot be possible okay so from here what we will do is we'll try to put here the value of uh, total 2 plus 7 plus y plus y comes out to be what instead of just 9 we'll put it as 19 now subtracting both sides by 9 you will have 2y equals to 10 so y comes out to be what 5 Okay, now if that is the scenario, okay, so here we know that the total is coming out to be what we've assumed it to be what 19. So here this 9 will remain, right, and 1 will get carried forward. Now let's look at the last column. When you do that, we have what 1 plus 7 plus 6. Now instead of y, we'll put the value of 5. Now let's check whether that value is coming out to be 19. So 1 plus 7 is what? 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. So that is absolutely true. So now I can say the value of 5. The value of 5 in, is the value for y in this case. And the value of x is nothing but 9. So I can say the total is nothing but what? 14. Now let's try and cross verify this. Okay, let's try and cross verify this over here by putting the values of x and y so we have what 7 7 9 6 5 9 sorry we do have one more number then we have what 5 5 
0.59. And if that number comes out to be what? 1997, right? We had 1xx7. So if that answer comes out to be the same, then we can say whatever we have calculated is absolutely correct. So 9 plus 9 plus 9, that gets you 27. 2 gets carried. 2 plus 7, that gets you 9. Plus 5 plus, get plus 5, that gets you what? 19. And that gets, 1 gets carried away. So 1 plus 7 gets you 8. Plus 6 gets you 20, uh, 14. 14 plus 5 gets you 19. And that, my dear friends, is the value once you substitute the value of x in your final answer. So I hope you all have understood how to solve these kind of puzzles. Apart from this, if you are also stuck in some kind of puzzle, please let me know so in the comment section. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.